We generally have an idea of celebrities and other famous rich people living perfect lives. The rich and famous aren't immune to family tragedies. And unfortunately, some celebrities have endured the kind of traumatic loss that alters the course of one's life forever, regardless of one's success in music, movies, or sports. But just like any other human being, their lives too are shrouded with all kinds of grieves. Today, we are going to present a list of famous people whose parents were murdered. Number 1. Dylan McDermott Dylan McDermott is known for his role as Ben Harmon in the American Horror Story franchise, but in real life, the actor suffered true horror. In 1967, five-year-old Dylan was standing outside his Waterbury, Connecticut home. His mother's boyfriend had kicked him out as a horrible scene played out inside. According to the Republican American, Dylan heard a gunshot. The next time he saw his mom, her body was being carried out on a gurney. Diane McDermott's boyfriend, John Sponza, was the only witness to that gunshot, and he told police that Diane had committed suicide, reported today. Later it was believed that her boyfriend, who was a known gangster, had hatched a well-constructed plan and murdered her. But before he could be held accountable, he was found dead in the trunk of a car in 1972. Number 2. Michael Jordan With six NBA titles, Michael Jordan is arguably the greatest basketball player of all time. But he temporarily retired from the game in 1993, the year his father, James Jordan, was shot and killed. According to the Los Angeles Times, 57-year-old James had been missing for three weeks when his body was found floating in a South Carolina creek on August 3. His vehicle, a red Lexus 400, was recovered by police two days later. Two men, Daniel Andrew Green and Larry Martin Demery, were arrested and found guilty of Jordan Sr.'s murder. But the story continues as Green's lawyers, have filed a motion for a new trial in June of this year, citing a critical piece of evidence had been tampered with almost 25 years later. Number 3. Jennifer Hudson Oscar-winning Dreamville's actress and singer Jennifer Hudson suffered a horrific tragedy when her mother, brother and seven-year-old nephew were murdered by her estranged brother-in-law, William Balfour. Balfour went into a shooting rage at the family's Chicago home, thinking that his wife, Julia Hudson, was dating another man. He was found guilty of first-degree murder in May. Hudson and her sister put out a statement following the trial, thanking lawyers, law enforcement officials, God, and their supporters. We have felt the love and support from people all over the world, and we're very grateful. Number 4. Dave Navarro. David Michael Dave Navarro is an American singer, songwriter, actor, and guitarist. He is the founding member of the alternative rock band Jane's Addiction. He is one of those people who openly states that the murder of his parent, in this case, his mother, radically changed his life. His situation is different than most of those on the list. He was 15 when his mother was murdered, and at first he found it difficult to talk about then later found it was part of a healing process for him personally. His mother was murdered by an ex-boyfriend when he was seven. Unlike most of the people on this list, Navarro made a documentary about the murder and continues to be an advocate against domestic violence. He says that it took more than eight years to finally find the killer, John Riccardi, after he fled the scene. He believes that if he was home when his mother was murdered, he would have been added to the list. When you step back and think about it, life sometimes comes down to not being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Number 5. Sean Combs Rapper and media mogul Sean Diddy Combs used the 2013 launch of his Revolt TV to publicly discuss his late father, Melvin Combs, for the first time. My father was killed when I was three years old. We didn't share a lot of moments, but he's always lived in my spirit. Combs' father, Melvin Combs, was an associate of convicted New York drug dealer Frank Lucas, which is probably why he was shot to death at the age of 33 while he was sitting in his car. 
Number 6. Sean Lennon Among the celebrities on this list, no one defined the impact John Lennon and the Beatles had on American music, a shift that would change the world of music. Sean was born on his father's 35th birthday. How often does that happen? Of October 9th in 1975 to Yoko Ono. One very memorable moment for scene came in 1984 when Apple computer owner Steve Jobs gave him one of the first Macintosh computers while visiting in Tokyo. His father was shot to death at his home on Monday, December 8, 1980, by Mark David Chapman. Chapman waited from mid-morning in front of Lennon's home that day, handed Lennon an album to autograph, and after getting the autograph waited for Lennon to turn and walk away before shooting him five times in the back. Oddly, Chapman had approached Sean, who was five years old at the time, earlier in the day. Number 7. Malcolm X Malcolm X was a religious leader and fierce advocate for civil rights. The death of the father of Malcolm X has been placed on this list as a matter of controversy. There was never anyone charged or caught for the murder of his father, whose body was found lying on the town's trolley tracks in 1929. Two weeks prior to that, the house of his father was burned down. The major suspects in the murder was a white supremacist group known as the Black Legion, a group Malcolm X asserted was responsible for the murder. As a result, his mother suffered an emotional breakdown and was committed to a mental institution. The family was split up to live elsewhere. Number 8. Patrick Duffy Dallas star Patrick Duffy was at the height of his fame when his parents, Terence and Marie Duff, were brutally gunned down in 1986 during a robbery in the Montana bar they owned. The killers, Kenneth Miller and Sean Wentz, were teenagers at the time. They were convicted of the murders and sentenced to 75 years in prison. Wentz later admitted that he was the sole gunman, and Miller was released on parole in December 2007. Duffy's Buddhist beliefs have helped him deal with the loss of his parents in an unconventional way. Every single unfortunate thing that happens, including, for instance, the murder of my parents, I am responsible for, he told The Guardian in 2006. I am responsible for being the son of two people who got murdered. I didn't cause their murder. But if I'm suffering because of it, it's my karma that I have manifested in this lifetime in this particular set of circumstances. Number 9. John F. Kennedy Jr. This is usually the first person that comes to mind when discussing modern era assassinations is President John F. Kennedy. For those old enough to remember, there is an iconic picture of John Jr. saluting his father as the funeral procession passed by. Acquiring the media moniker John John as a result of a news reporter's error, his every move was followed by the media throughout his life, even before the age of social media and the internet. His father's death continues to have conspiracy theories swirling around him, despite the recent release of declassified documents by the FBI earlier this year. Those recently released documents provided some new information about the president's assassin, Lee Harvey Oswald, but nothing that would close the book on this chapter in American history. Ironically, John Jr. died in what some people believe are mysterious circumstances on July 16. 1999, at the age of 39. Number 10. Kelsey Grammer. If anyone has had the kind of childhood that involved significant tragedy, few can compare to the childhood of Kelsey Grammer. His parents divorced when he was only two years old. After the divorce, Kelsey's mother brought him and his sister Karen back to New Jersey to be raised by mom and granddad. When Grammar was 11, his granddad had died, leaving only his mother to raise him. Only two years later, back where his father had remarried and lived, a mentally ill man named Arthur Niles had set his father's car on fire for reasons unknown. When Grandma's father came out to find out what was going on, he was shot twice and murdered. His sister Karen was raped and murdered when she was 18 by two men who were either mentally ill or on drugs. He was 20 
It is weird how many insane people crossed the path of Kelsey Grammer. Number 11. Charlize Theron. This one is yet another twist. Charlize Theron's mom killed the Oscar winner's father in self-defense, and the actress was there to witness the horrible episode. In 1991, her dad and his brother came home in a drunken rage and threatened to kill the rest of the family. Theron told ABC News' Diane Sawyer that she remembers her dad, her big guy, and an alcoholic, banging on her door and saying tonight, I'm going to kill you both with the shotgun. When he fired the gun into Theron's room, her mother grabbed her own handgun and shot her husband and his brother, killing her husband and wounding the brother. Theron said that while she was shocked, she never doubted her mother's intentions. I know what happened, she said. And I know that if my daughter was in the same situation, I would do the same thing. Theron's mom never faced prosecution because the attorney general ruled that she had acted in self-defense. Number 12. James Elroy. Lee Earl James Elroy is a famous American crime fiction writer. He is noted for writing short, staccato sentences, a telegrammatic prose style. Elroy's crime fictions have a relentlessly pessimistic worldview that earned him the name Demon Dog of American crime fiction. When he was eight years old his mother was raped and murdered, a trauma that made him suffer depression for years. After the incident, his father once gifted him a book called The Badge by Jack Webb that consisted of some of the most sensational cases. The two incidents are regarded as the most significant event during his youth years. Number 13. Nona Gay. The murder of singer Marvin Gaye is well known in Hollywood and by Motown music fans. What is far less known is the effect of that murder had on Gay's daughter Nona. So how did Nona become a celebrity? First, she has had a singing career since the 1990s. But of greater significance is that she was involved in litigation against musician Pharrell Williams and celebrity Robin Thicke for plagiarizing portions of her father's 1977 hit, Got to Give It Up. She and Gay's two other children were awarded a $7.4 million award from the court. The simple story of her father's death. Marvin Gay Sr. pulled out a gun and shot his son while he lay in bed. Does not have the same impact on outsiders as it did Nona. She was 10 years old at the time. Number 14. Omarosa Manigault. The lack of available information on the death of the father of Omarosa Manigault is puzzling. Omarosa admits that her father was murdered in Youngstown, Ohio, in 1988 when she was seven years old. Other than that, not much public information is available. Since this list is looking at these children in a different way, it is a good time to ask whether or not knowing more is to anyone's benefit. The attitude seems to be a matter-of-fact one, and it might be best to just let things alone. Omarosa has achieved much in her life and appears to have no psychological adjustment to make. We shouldn't look at these situations and say, it is what it is, but in the end, it is up to the child and how they feel about the event.